It's November 16, 2024. I'm a planet fitness. Mr. Mr. Chris Murphy, Senator Chris Murphy, Senator Richard Blumenthal. I just wanted to record a video to tell you about the importance of having a friend, an ally in Latin America. Because uh, heroes are not baseball players. Heroes is not somebody with a baseball bat or somebody that can throw a really hard ball really fast 100 miles per hour that doesn't work in real life a baseball bat and a really hard ball does not work in real life when a country just works to put in power people that don't know any English they always need a translator they always want to take advantage of American 100% minor leaguers whose parents are baseball dad and baseball moms we need to look at the facts look at the facts and what has happened on Fox Sports and ESPN where Alex Rodriguez and David Ortiz and Derek Gitter exchange money on camera live while reporting about baseball. They're taking away the jobs of thousands and thousands of American journalists that want to be a sport journalist in America. In Fox Sports, ESPN, and all those networks that report about sports. It's important to keep money out of the, new, the, the sport news, keep money out of it. And one way to do it is to notice that Alex Rodriguez is Dominican and David Ortiz is Dominican and they were exchanging money on Fox Sports on camera. Like, they have, there are no rules in baseball and the thing is, Manny Ramirez got caught with steroids three times. So his, uh, his World Series title with the Rexus doesn't worth anything. It's worthless. It's garbage. It's basura. You know why? Because they cheated. They cheated, and not only that, Ramirez's last name is the father of a criminal that committed sexual abuse and rape and was one of the leaders of CEL, Centro Excursionista Loyola from uh, Colegio Loyola, Dominican Republic, who wear a white shirt and a stolen whistle from the basketball coaches and soccer coaches. So they were a powerful forces illegally trying to destroy soccer and basketball in Dominican Republic during my time. So those are things those things are connected with the sexual abuse and rape that and child exploitation and poison knockout that happened in Colegio Loyola in Santo Domingo Dominican Republic and in the mountains and a birthday parties of Loyola. So it's important to look at the facts. Who wants to tell you the truth? Nicolas Maduro, the president of Venezuela, wants to tell you the truth. I've been looking at his videos, I've been watching, and Diosdado Cabello has been reporting the news and has been fighting, has the man for Dominican Republic to pay for the oil they borrowed decades ago. They haven't paid. You know, when a country, leaders, and government does not pay their bills, the people that suffer are the, peop are the citizens. Those are the ones that suffer because they will never get justice. Justice will never happen in Dominican Republic because they owe money to Venezuela from the oil they borrow. So we need to understand that we need a leader in South America 
And the leader is not Javier Milei. The leader is not Bukelele. The leader is not uh, President of Mexico, Shumbao. Or is that some Latin, la, Latino name? Shumbao, Shumboom, Shumbao, Shumboom. I don't even know how to say her, pronounce her name because she hasn't made one sound for Latino rights. Yeah, the, the first president, the first woman president of Mexico has not sounded the alarm for Latino rights and Latino human rights around the world. She's, her name is hard to pronounce because she doesn't make it popular in the dining rooms of Americans, her name. So what I wanted to tell you is that Nicolas Maduro is our friend and ally. He's our friend and ally because I was born in 1989 in Dominican Republic and I lived there for uh, 2007, till 2007. So for 18 years I lived in Dominican Republic. So I knew about the Caribbean issues. The Caribbean issues are important when you're questioning who, when you want to know, when you're wondering who's our ally in Latin America. So the ally is Nicolas Maduro and Diosdado Cabello, who report the news, who want to tell you what's going on. And it's important to find somebody in Spanish when we have so many Latin Americans in the United States. And that person is Nicolas Maduro because his pa the, the Venezuelan Spanish is not too far apart from the Dominican Spanish or the Boricua, the, the Spanish from Puerto Rico. It's not too far apart. Like the accent in Argentina and the words are way different from Latinos in general. And this is just an analysis, a fair analysis that the accent and some of the words in Spanish in Argentina are way different in Latin, in Latin America in general. Same thing with Spain. Spain and Argentina have different accents and different languages and different words that mean different things in Spanish. So it's important that we don't lose translations because of that. So we need to fight for what's right. And I'm telling you to please understand what I'm talking about because it's all connected. And the, the ally is not baseball. It's not baseball. Baseball doesn't do anything for me. You know this, Chris Murphy. You know this, Chris Murphy. New Jersey doesn't have a baseball team. Connecticut doesn't have a baseball team. Baseball has not done anything for you, Richard Blumenthal. So it's not baseball the answer. Baseball doesn't do anything for me. David Ortiz doesn't care about missing person. Alex Rodriguez doesn't care about missing person. Manny Ramirez pretends to be religious. He doesn't fight for missing person. He doesn't fight for human rights. Human rights. Same thing with Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez went to the school of Colegio Loyola when I was a boy there and he went to sign baseball balls and my mom gave her, he gave him a, a drawing in pastel of him. So my mom gave him a free drawing pastel of Pedro Martinez to Pedro Martinez. It was a portrait in pastel and it was a big one. And I took a picture with it with my mom and him. And Pedro Martinez doesn't care for my mom. Pedro Martinez doesn't care for me. Pedro Martinez doesn't care for artists, I'm telling you. And his, his neighbor in Dominican Republic was one of my classmates, Maria Alejandra Minino. Maria Alejandra Minino, she's 35 years old. She was one of my classmates. And if you are the neighbor of a millionaire baseball player, you are not that great of a person. And I have shown with so many years of not mentioning uh, or not uh, insulting or not saying anything bad about Maria Alejandra 
Mi niño, that she doesn't care for me. She, does, she doesn't really care. And there's something more there than she was just my classmate. There's more to it because she had two boyfriends, seriously. Two boyfriends in primaria and in bachillerato. Two boyfriends. Fabio Morillo and Fabio Morillo and Ricardo Peña. Ricardo Peña. Two boyfriends in Loyola, seriously. And she will always hang around as three. Cristal Rodriguez, Maria Menino, and Judith La Antigua. So three women would just, would just walk around everywhere knocking down men. Men have rights and they have uh, different uh, parts, body parts as from women. They have, uh, they have a penis and they have a testicle. testicle. And those men's rights were not protected with these powerful women who, who gained so much money. Uh, so much money. So you're talking about big corporations in your last video you published. And you need to look at the baseball situation and realize that all these baseball don't pay their bills. They don't pay their oil. And Venezuelans are poor. Venezuelan won the prosperity of Nicolas Maduro. Venezuelan won the education of Nicolas Maduro. Venezuelan won the national security that reports to the world what's going on. I don't want to hear about a country that doesn't report about people that want to commit terrorism. I want to I wanna know about a country that want to report to the world about terrorism in their country so we can improve our relations and we can better ourselves and better and help them out. So think about what I said and all the things that I have said on all these cases tonight, please. Because I'm speaking in 100% English and I'm at the gym in front of people and I'm allowed to speak because I'm very polite, respectful. So don't wait and wait and wait because it's very dangerous to wait another day wait another week, wait another month, because most wanted by the FBI live in New Jersey. So obviously, I'm a free man, free man, who's just sitting and standing next to the treadmill. So I just wanted to tell you that, all right? Make sure to tell, uh, to tell Governor Lamont that I did the fight for Connecticut rights I did the fight for my friends from Connecticut, Edding White, for my friends from Connecticut, uh, Chelsea Chloe, Maddie Hughes from Connecticut, all those people. I did the fight for Connecticut. I did the fight for the Connecticut flag. Luigi Rafala, Channing Harwood, Tanya Jones, Colleen Jones, Alicia Galanto, Chris Samson, Maria Carta, all those people are from Connecticut. I did the fight. I fought like nobody else for the Connecticut flag. So please try to on the, respond to me. And I did the fight for their families. I did the fight for the police officer, Matthew Bloomberg, uh, Supervisor Sebastian, uh, Officer David Goodwin. I did the fight for David Goodwin, who's an honorable police officer. And he told my mom one day that I was an honorable man. So please understand where I'm at and where do I come from and what I'm talking about because it's important and it matters to me. Connecticut doesn't have a basketball team in the NBA. Connecticut doesn't have a baseball team. You need to pay attention, wake up. Wake up because the translation in Spanish have been incorrect. You need to adjust and get stronger because this is Connecticut is the constitution state. Protect and defend the constitution of the United States against our enemies, foreign and domestic. I'm American first. All right, all right. <laughs>